Good morning. Christ is risen indeed. Alleluia. Christ is risen. And happy Easter to all of you. My name is Reverend Helen Holfer, and today we are doing Celtic prayer. And we will start with our call to prayer. Do then ye, do then ye, do then ye, do then ye. Wisdom, 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 wisdom. In the name of the Creator, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. And one thing I've asked of the Lord, this is what I seek that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to behold the beauty of the Lord and to seek the Creator in God's temple. Who is it that you seek? We seek the Lord our God. Ye seek God with all your heart. Amen, Lord, have mercy. Ye seek the Creator with all your soul. Amen, Lord, have mercy. Do you seek God with all your mind? Amen, Christ, have mercy. To whom shall you go? You have the words of eternal life, and we have believed and have come to know that you are the Holy One of God. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Amen. And uh, as I said, we're doing the uh, Celtic readings for April. And uh, this month is uh, based on the uh, writings of uh, Frederick Beechner, and we are doing, he's got a theme for every, um, uh, going through through the alphabet, and we're up to P, which is peace. And for that day, it is Psalm 122, 6 to 9. Okay. Yeah. Pray for the peace of Jerusalem. May those who love you prosper. May there be peace inside your walls and safety in your palaces. For the sake of my relatives and friends, I say to Jerusalem, peace be with you. For the sake of the house of the Lord our God, I pray for your prosperity. And then we have in Isaiah uh, 2, 3 to 5. Oops. Isaiah 2, 3 to 5. And their people will say, Let us go up the hill of the Lord, to the temple of Israel's God. He will teach us what he wants us to do. We will walk in the paths he has chosen. For the Lord's teaching comes from Jerusalem. From Zion he speaks to his people. He will settle disputes among great nations. They will hammer their swords into plows, and their spears into pruning knives. Nations will never again go to war. Never prepare for battle again. Now, descendants of Jacob, let us walk in the light which the Lord gives. And then finally, from Colossians 1, 15 to 20. Christ is the visible likeness of the invisible God. He is the firstborn son, superior to all created things. For through him God created everything in heaven and on earth, the seen and the unseen things, including spiritual powers, lords, rulers, and authorities. God created the whole universe through him and for him. Christ existed before all things, and in union with him all things have their proper place. He is the head of his body, the church. He is the source of the body's life. He is the firstborn son who was raised from death, in order that he alone might have the first place in all things. For it was by God's own decision that the son has in himself the full nature of God. The son then, God decided to bring the whole universe back to himself. God made peace through his son's blood on the cross, and so brought back to himself all things, both on earth and and in heaven. 
the word of the Lord. In our reflection, which is P for peace, peace has come to mean the time when there aren't many wars or even when there aren't any major wars. Beggars can't be choosers. We'd most of us settle for that. But in Hebrew peace, shalom means fullness, means having everything you need to be holy and happily yourself. For Jesus, peace seems to have meant not the absence of struggle, but the presence of love. And so with that, in all things, whatever you go through, that presence of love is always there. Whether it is a true time of peace, a time where things seem to go well, and that is a good thing as well. But in those challenging times, as we all can attest to in the last couple of years, what is it that has brought you and kept you going? But Christ's love pulls you through. There might have been days where you just regretted and were angry because you couldn't be in the places that you wanted to be. There might have been frustrations because there was all these rules to follow. But God's love, that got you through all of that. There must might have been a sadness as you took in a lot of the world's events. A lot of reports of nursing homes who lost so many of their residents. Um, sad stories of others who had chronic illness who also died. Um, disruptions in terms of the protests all through the land. And especially uh, stories of violence based on racism and the revelations that um, there were so many young children buried all around what used to be residential schools and a cry for reconciliation. Also the listening of war for sure in the Ukraine but all over the world where so much is destroyed with little profit for anyone. And so in all these things, there is peace because we have God's peace, the presence of God's love to carry us, to journey with us, to assure us that there is another day to keep us going. In God's peace, sometimes we need to hear from somebody else that God is love, that we are loved. And so sometimes we need to talk to somebody and so that brings us God's peace. Sometimes God's peace when we reveal that there is some kind of joy. In this time where spring seems to be taking its time, oh, I think that Narnia witch has gotten into a lot of trouble in keeping us in the winter time. Um, we can still find God's peace as people do echo. It is warmer. People are going for walks. And they're noticing any sign of peace and grabbing on to it. Many churches were able to gather this Easter, and so there was a great celebration because that was possible. And that brought people some peace. So, and also a revelation of all those in your life who have journeyed with you off and on and supported you. And that is a sign of God's peace. I could go on and on and on, but if you thought about it, where is God's presence of love in your life? Then sure. There is God's peace. Amen, and peace be with you. <clears throat>
you're sure to do your part and always the first to make a start god give your people love god give your people peace when sorrow fills us through and through our courage renew come lay to rest our restlessness in you god give your people peace let's take this time we can offer up our own prayers and concerns as april rolls around courses begin to slow down assignments begin to be handed in exams are studied for and some of our international students are now making plans to go home may you keep them safe in your travels O lord as they get to meet with family over the uh, summer months yes summer is coming let us pray for all our students faculty and staff as the university also prepares itself for another phase of opening where we are to open fully for the summer session let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We continue to pray for peace. We pray for civilians to be protected and taken care of. We pray for compassion and love on the behest of all those fighting in this war. And we pray for the leaders to be aware and open to God's wisdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And we pray for all those who may have experienced the COVID, and we pray for their healing. We pray for our whole society so we can move, and hopefully this awful virus will just continue to weaken. But we also pray for those who have lost some of their family members to COVID. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us take a moment for you to lift up your own prayers. For all these prayers, spoken and unspoken, we lift them up to you, O Lord, and we ask that all our prayers are answered according to your will. Amen. Christ is a light, illuminate and guide me. Christ is a shield, overshadow me. Christ under me, Christ over me. Christ beside me on my left and my right. This day be within and without me, lowly and meek and all-powerful, be in the mouth of each who speaks unto me. Lowly and meek and all-powerful, Christ as a light, Christ as a shield. Christ beside me on my left and my right, may the peace of the Lord Christ go with you, wherever he may send you. May he guide you through the wilderness. May he bring you home rejoicing at the wonders he has shown you. May he bring you home rejoicing once again into our doors. In the name of the Creator, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Even so, Lord Jesus, come, O divine and glorious Son. Though we live as your body here on earth, even so, Lord Jesus, come. Gracious Father, Father, and Lord, your creations one adored. By your hand we receive your majesty, even so, Lord Jesus, come. Holy Spirit, breath of life, light a path through darkest night. In your care we confess our deepest sigh, even so, Lord Jesus, come. May God bless you for the rest of the week. Amen. <laughs>